Welcome to Dynamic Medicos. Today in this video, I am going to talk about Bacteria Vibrio cholerae. Let's see the morphology of the Vibrio cholerae. It's a gram-negative bacteria and the, its shape is bacilli, non-sporing, non-capsulated and its shape is curved like comma with rounded or the pointed ends, highly motile. Let's start its cultural characteristics. It's an aerobe and the facultative anaerobe bacteria. It grows on ordinary media like nutrient agar, blood agar or the clear greenish zone it shows on it. Optimum temperature requirement is 37 degrees Celsius. Optimum pH is 8.2. Meconchis agar. Special media. TCBS, thiosulfate citrate, bile salt, sucrose agar. It shows yellow colonies. BSA, alkaline bile salt agar, bluish tinge, GTTA, Mansus gelatin, torocolate, telluride agar. Biochemical reactions. It sends catalyst and the oxidase positive, urease and H2S negative, cholera reduction reaction, formation of nitrosoindole, hemolytic reaction. Now let's see the pathogenicity of the cholera. Sunken eyes, cyanosis and dry mouth, muscle cramping, vomiting of the clear fluid, blood pressure drops due to the dehydration and it shows the diarrhea and vomiting. These are the signs and symptoms of the Vibrio cholerae. Let's start with the lab diagnosis. Microscopic examination. Vibrio cholerae are the gram negative, slightly curved rod with a single flagellum at one end. Microscopic examination of gram stained stool smear is not recommended for the vibrios. Dark field microscopy is usual method for the demonstrating the characteristic motility of the bacilli and its uh, inhibition by the antisera. This is a rapid method uh, for examination of stool collection from cases after attachment for 6 hours. Direct immunofluorescence is an other method for the rapid detection. Culture Vibrio cholerae are strongly aerobic growing by being scanty for slow in aerobic condition. They grow within a temperature range of 16 to 40 degrees celsius growth is better in alkaline medium of ph in the range of 6.4 to 9.6 nacl that is 0.5 to 1 percent is required for the optimal growth through high concentration of nacl are inhibitory vibrios grows on wide range of media such as Non-selective media on nutrient agar colonies are most transcendent 1 to 2 mm in diameter with bluish tinge in transmitted light. The growth has a destructive odor. On McConkey's agar, initially the colonies are colorless but may turn to on prolonged incubation due to the fermentation of lactose on blood agar. Elder biotypes produces hemolytic colonies and the biotype classical however produces the greenish colonies around the colonies which later becomes clear due to the hemodigestion. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and comment on my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Dynamic Medicos.